by Pastor Crandall in Blackbird, and it's um, a very traditional, I call him a bit of a white wing, you know, by today's standards, uh, Southern minister, and uh, he just has very traditional Southern values that he feels like he needs to impart on uh, this young boy uh, played by Julian Walker in the film, you know, so, you know, he's hoping to transform him and save him, if you will. Got it. And had you read the book before? I had not. Okay. No, Did not you read it while you are doing it? Or? No, no, you know, sometimes too much information can get in the way of what you're creating, and I didn't want that much information. My thing was to find what was the love of my character, what were the actions of my character, what was the arc of my character throughout. So that's what I needed to look at, you know, and then to go to a place of, okay, well, how was I raised versus the principles of this particular minister? What are my beliefs versus the beliefs of this minister? At the same time, so, you know, using all that information, you go back in the lab and throw everything in the pot, see what you cook up, you know, get some gumbo out of there, and, you know, feed yourself and hopefully, you know, get fortified throughout the film. Yeah. Now you're a single ladies as well. Your yeah. character this season though, he's you know, not as likable as he was in the first season. I'm not concerned with Sean being likable. Yeah. I'm concerned with him being truthful uh, to honor what the writers have written. But he has a bit of a vengeance this yeah. year, which when they told me even months before we started shooting, that was fun for me because, you know, I was like, you know what, I'm tired of just putting on the, the penguin suit. And being in love. Just, and, yeah. That's, you know, that has its place in time. But I was like, you know what? I'm going to sacrifice that yeah. in order to seek a little revenge, to give back a little bit, to wreak a little bit of havoc. And you need those characters to help stir up the pot. And most actors will tell you at the same time, that's always so much more interesting yeah. than everything else anyway. There are times that me and DB would be playing against each other. And he would be like, damn, you got me. It's just so funny like, when you guys <laughs> go at it. Like both wealthy, both established. So it's like, what? It's like, you know, it's, it's, it's a chess game between yeah. us. And I can't tell you, as humble and, and loving, as that brother is, we had the absolute best time together. Yeah. And and though he was there from the very beginning, when I came in the second season, he welcomed me with open arms right away. And the first thing he said was, "Brother, I'm glad to have you here. Now I got some backup against all these women." Right. right. <laughs> but we but we agreed. We agreed from jump to make something beautiful together right from the beginning. And we and we decided that we were going to do what we call sell tickets. It was like, okay, when it's your turn. I'm gonna let you get yours, yeah. but I guarantee I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and up you yeah. on the next take, no matter what. That's so, crazy. Yeah. Because on Twitter, I swear everyone wants you and Keisha to get back together. I don't think so. I see it on Twitter. Really? Yeah. Oh man, people got so much mad love for Keisha and Malcolm together, and I celebrate that at the same time. Yeah. I'm like, you know what? I understand where that place comes from. You know, that was the original thing together, and here Sean came back from the past. People were also mad because Sean did it wrong at some point in life. That all things. So, yeah, but you know, for me. It's all fun just seeing how it unfolds, and as, my thing is, as long as the fans are reacting one way or the other, yeah. I'm good with from there. I'm like, yo, a lot of people are like, I don't like Sean no more, this and that, and like that. And I'm like, and I just retweeted. I'm like, it's good. I like me to do your job. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah. Hopefully yes, thank you so much for talking. With me. Pleasure, man. Blackbird. It's an amazing book. Had you read the book before you worked on the project? Yeah, I read the book in college actually. Okay. Yeah. And what did, like did it inspire you to get into the creative field or? Um. Well, I mean, what did it do for you? Cause uh, you know, it was just nice to read a coming of age story about a, a black gay character. So, um, and the story spoke to me enough that I instantly I knew I wanted to make it into a movie yeah. someday. So. Yeah. And what was it like working with Monique and Isaiah Washington? They were amazing. amazing. Yeah, yeah, very professional, incredible talents, um, really nice people. Yeah. So, yeah it's very and did you guys do a search for the lead character, or did you already know about Julian? Um, no, he kind of came to us. Uh, you know, he, he just came to us. He was in college in Mississippi. Wow. So he had never, uh, this is his first acting role. Yeah. And did you mentor him as you guys were filming? Um, I, mean, I think he probably picked up a lot of stuff from, yeah. from everyone. Yeah. Yeah. That's great. Thank you so much for talking. Yes.
I play Libby, and she's a grad student, um, and she's written a thesis film. And she casts the lead character in the film, in her film, so it's, a, it's kind of a film within a film. Um, and the, the topic of the character's film is, is a gay relationship. And so that's part of the awakening and self-realization that the, the main character has. Yeah. yeah. Cool, and how did you become a part of it? Did you audition for it, or had you read the book as well? I did audition, um, but I got to read the script in advance. Um, Keith Brown, one of the producers, is a good friend of mine. And he was so sweet of him to say, hey, I think you might be right for this. And of course, like two pages in, I was sobbing and so excited. And I was like, oh, this is this will mean so much to so many people. It's an important thing. And um, it ended up working out. And Patrick and Polk, he's so innovative within the LGBT community and yeah. getting the story out there. So had you seen his previous work? I had. Um, I just, yeah, he's he's an important filmmaker. He's an important voice in that community. And it's, there's never been a better time. Yeah. Um, it's, there's, you know, civil rights movement is happening right now, and it's all about love, and so it's such a privilege. Yeah. It's great that you're a part of this film. I, I agree. <laughs> Have a good night. Thank you so much.